Hi, family of God. This is Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. On this channel, all the content that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I entreat you to subscribe to this channel and like this very message you're about to listen to. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that you listen to, that you engage, that brings results into your life. So I encourage you to stay tuned and watch this video to the end. And do subscribe to this channel and put in your comment section what you feel about this message. God bless you. I'm praying for you. From today, you will step into unusual levels of grace. Now hear me. Every grace God has deposited in this ministry that you have not received in the name of Jesus as a result of this teaching tonight I cry unto my God one more time may that grace rest on you listen let me submit to you under God if you have been part of this vision for up to one year there are some things that should start speaking in your life and if it is not speaking go and examine these things it is either you are not a student genuinely learning or you are not genuinely connected. You are just a fan, a spectator who comes to watch these things. One year, 365 days is enough for some things to start speaking. I'm praying for you. Wherever dishonor closed doors towards you or lack of discernment, I cry unto my God this night by the power that raised Christ from the dead may God revisit you with these anointings may my God revisit you with these anointings in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for you if you have programmed any negative thing waiting for you tomorrow because of things you have said because of graces you have dishonored, because of dispositions you have maintained, I cry mercy on your behalf now. I cry mercy on your behalf now. I cry mercy on your behalf now. Please hear me. Every dimension of grace distributed across the body of Christ that is needed for your destiny and for the next level wherever it is across the body of Christ I cry unto the God of mercy may he gravitate it to your life Amen. hallelujah listen there is a harsh economic climate biting on people destroying people by the grace of God and with every sense of humility you have heard me say it till Jesus comes there are certain things that will never happen economically to this ministry it is a grace you should not be under that grace and yet it is not speaking you are hearing the testimonies of men most believers argue with God argue they argue while they are suffering they argue you are done you go and listen to something else and you are like it doesn't matter but you are the one who is going through a, an embarrassment that can be sorted I pray for you let me speak over your finances the kind of favor that you need in this season for your business for your ministry for the next dimension of your life by the mercy of the God of heaven, let it be released to you now. Let it be released to you now. Hallelujah. A man of God reached me when he heard that all the auditoriums that we booked for these conferences, every single one of them has been full. Every Canada, US, UK in fact for UK was within two days or so and right now the trouble we have is what to do with the many more that are yet to come and we've not started publicity and I told him I said see this thing is a grace when we say it, people think it's pride if a grace is on you it will speak if it's not on you you can ask it to speak and it will not speak and it is not for one man 
it is for the body of Christ this thing we also received it from others it didn't come just by luck it was not always like this everything that makes you small everything that does not allow growth in your life some of you have been around ministry for years it has refused to grow business for years it has refused to grow i call upon my god the god of all grace this night may the grace that brings growth and advancement may it rest on you now <laughs> hallelujah one of my covenants with god is that for as long as i live as a man of god i will never manipulate god's people for gain never never i rather lose the ministry than manipulate god's people for gain i will not do that if i have a need i will go and cry to the god of my covenant and review the truths that i know but not to manipulate god's people when you see god doing certain things in this ministry and in every other ministry where you see his hand let me tell you sincerely ladies and gentlemen i want you to know that that grace is for your taking if your heart is opened and if you are interested when graces are upon you they speak evidently you will know don't be in ministry and you are giving excuses it's because i'm this tribe it's because i'm in this place it's because i don't have money it's a flimsy excuse you open your heart and say, Lord, you gave these graces for the body. I am part of the body. I receive. Once upon a time we had our crusades, we were owing. And I went to God and I cried. I said, God, I can't keep doing ministry this way. If I die of high blood pressure because of financial issues. Or imagine that as I'm preparing this message now, the bills. Do you know the temptation to manipulate people will come? I will pass the offering basket by myself and look at what you are dropping you mean you you are dropping this drop something again drop something serious one of the ways to walk in integrity is to receive the help of god temptations happen many times because of limitations did you hear what i said temptations happen many times because of limitations one of the ways to avoid temptations is to pray that the limitations that empower them are taken away from your life i pray for you whatever has crippled you economically making your allegiance to god vacillate your integrity as a child of god vacillate this moment by the privilege of this grace that god has placed i release you into a realm of fearful abundance hallelujah hear me you can have what to say but it does not mean men will listen some of the smartest people in the world are the loneliest people i have seen people even in ministry men and women of god gifted with character with solid integrity and yet nobody knows they are there and sometimes i say please can i pray with you what god has placed upon your life all of us should benefit from it i have seen people sing in passing these guys are supposed to be leading nations in worship and they are not even aware they are worshipers and when i heard their voices why are they here some of them were cleaners cleaning rooms and singing and you hear the melodies and you are looking this man is in this place he does not know what is upon him because they lack the grace for visibility i want to pray for you whatever will make men know you are there whatever will make men to see the investment of the spirit upon your life and to encourage you and reward you i pray may the grace that makes this happen rest on you now may that grace rest on you now hallelujah don't be tired though i'm speaking over your life listen one of the greatest blessings in my life today is the gift of men one of the greatest blessings in this ministry today is the gift of faithful men 
faithful sons, faithful daughters. When men of God come and cry their ordeal and tell me the pains and the backstabs that they receive perpetually, sometimes I return to God and I say, Lord, I thank you. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. There are men of God today who cannot sleep. They can't call anybody a son. They can't call anybody a daughter. They don't trust anybody because they have been so wounded. They are bleeding left, right and center. Every week is an episode of pain. God has given the gift of men, not just in this ministry, but the gift of strategic people. I was in Lagos this morning before I came and then came for Koinonia. And I was thinking to myself while I was on my way back, if God does not help a man by connecting you to strategic relationships, life will be hard, unbearably hard. I don't know who has struggled in this place and you are tired of struggling. Maybe you inherited this thing from the families you came from. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. May a help arise this moment. May help us rise 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 this moment. Rise this moment. Now listen to me please. Essentially, there are two principal ways God channels his blessings to the saints. Listen please, we have a series on that coming, but I want you to listen. Number one, the works of your hands. The first way that God channels resources to come to you is through the works of your hands. Whatever it is you are doing, preaching, singing, business, your job. Number two, relationships. These are the two principal channels by which God communicates his resources to the saints. Let me repeat the works of your hands. Number two, relationships. When God wants to accelerate your becoming, he sends both. He empowers the works of your hands and then connects you with strategic relationships. There are many people who have great ideas that they should not even be crying for rent but the relationships that will help them remember john chapter 5 i have no man when the waters is there to put me there i'm praying for you one more time if you have the faith to receive the relationship that must be introduced to your life before the end of february in fact before the miracle service i pray for you this week may you encounter those helpers this week may you encounter those helpers can I tell you and I say this with every sense of humility there is nothing I have cried about in my life that God did not raise a man to hear me I pray for you the days of crying alone without help without help us those days come to an end now now listen in my life as a man of god i have seen attacks in my life as a man of god i have seen attacks from demons attacks from hell I have seen demons. I know the extent of Satan's hatred for me on account of the souls that are saved. I have found my safety and my immunity in the world. There is nothing Satan can do about what God is doing. I want to pray for you because many of you, when you go through attacks, it brings you down. The mysteries of hiding behind the cross, hiding behind the name that immunes you. Some of you, your companies have refused to rise today because of someone, something, something someone said, something someone did. When the words of men keep you down, you don't know how to be immune. God stands by men like a mighty, terrible one. When God places his hand behind you, woe betides the resistance that is before you. Therefore, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every attack on your life, attack on your ministry, attack on your health,
attack on your job this night this moment i release you to safety 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 every power that has vowed that you will not see the end of february that you will not enter march either killing people in your life deteriorating your health i call upon the god of my covenant anybody who will not give you rest may my god clear them out of the way every evil mark on you bringing disfavor making people hate you listen hear me there are people who have this mark of disfavor the moment they see them they just say i don't like you what did you do just like that if there's anyone carrying that mark now my god i just saw fire I decree and declare may that mark be wiped off your face be wiped off your destiny be wiped off your face be wiped off your destiny be wiped off your face be wiped off your destiny oh rest on me oh rest on me oh Listen, you are about to receive a grace now that I've not prayed for for a long time. It's called the spirit of might. Listen, hear me. You see this work that we do? If you don't have the spirit of might, you will collapse one day and die on the stage. Believe me when I tell you, and I'm not exaggerating, from yesterday into today till now i have not slept now it's good to rest but sometimes a duty calls we had a broadcast to our canada family and when we were done by the time i came i was on a call that lasted over i don't know how many hours and by the time that was done it was morning had to leave for lagos went to preach did everything returned back now i'm here and it's not like I'm going home just to go and jump on the bed. There is something called the spirit of might. There are many of us, 25, 35, you are already as if you are 90 years. If men like our father in the Lord can still be going around nation to nation, you see that now. Our father in the Lord, Daddy Onubogu, 85 years, this man is still moving around. When I travel to the east and he's around, at his age, he comes to join those to receive me. I've rebuked the ministers many times and said, don't allow this man. This man is my grandfather. Don't allow the, where I come from. You don't keep an elder for a small boy like this to come and receive him. But he perceives it as honor. And this man will stand. He's not holding a stick. He's not bent over. Come on now. There is a grace that comes on men. I'm praying for you. The spirit of might that empowers you for the work receive it now receive it now you will not collapse in service you will not die while serving hallelujah the last prayer for you and then we are done for tonight I decided particularly to close early this night for a reason. I want to pray for you. The grace to know what God is doing. Listen, listen, listen. One of the greatest advantage in my life is the blessing of the seeing eye. When you are taken unawares by life, you don't know what God is doing. 
you don't know what tomorrow will be like many of us just stumble blindly into things you will see opportunities and leave it without knowing it is there i want to pray for you whatever has covered your eyes that you are not seeing what god is doing in your life you are not seeing what god is doing in nigeria you are not seeing what god is doing in your ministry i pray for you now may your eyes be open spiritually may your eyes be open financially may your eyes be open to opportunities listen when you have the miracle of open eyes make reference to my teaching the seeing eyes there are things you should cry about that you'll be laughing because it is God making a testimony for you if you do not understand how God works you will be binding and casting something good that is coming to you because you just do not know it is God working. I'm praying for you again. Whatever needs to come as a blessing to your life, I bring it speedily to you. Koinonia, hear me. And I'm speaking to our global family. I cried to God this year and I said, Father, preserve my people for me. We are not ready for obituaries this year. Let me pray for you again. I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave, using sicknesses, using accidents, using plane crashes, using kidnaps, I decree and declare, be released now. Be released now. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is giving me one instruction. Please stretch your hands towards me. The Lord is saying I should speak over your hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Every good thing is received with the hands, not the feet. When I give you something, you receive it with your hand. No matter how heavy it is, you will try. Even if someone assists you still with the hand, I pray for you. As God has instructed that you stretch it towards me. If there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings, that does not alaya parakatoske de parakati balatus yata krate ka paratus kates brente ke pereketus kata brakata ligata shabraka parite peretus kotos e preta ta bakata parakatus kata pregata in the name of jesus every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward god has for you i break that chain now I break a parakes kote balata. I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer that I want to pray over you again. I keep hearing in my spirit. Just allow me honor God. 14th is Valentine. I want to use this opportunity. And pray against the spirit destroying families. If it's not your business don't receive. But if you care please receive. For yourself. There are spirits that are dedicated towards destroying families making sure that all ladies that are married return back to their parents house making sure that men who are doing well when they get married go down making sure people make mistakes in marriage making sure that families don't receive children valentine is not just the time of eating and whatever it is since the world has decided to celebrate it let me speak a grace on you everything that concerns your family life i'm praying for you this week may god visit you in a strange way 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 visit your family visit your spouse visit your children in the name of jesus for families that have been quarreling, living at loggerheads, may this week be the week of reconciliation. 
in the name of Jesus. And I speak as a man of God over you. Let this be the year of strange miracle marriages. Strange miracle marriages. I say it again, strange miracle marriages. Every power that has vowed that you will not enjoy that blessing, let that power be cursed now forever. In the name of Jesus. Anybody who is around your life, wasting your time and wasting your life, lying to you and deceiving you, this week, may God expose them. I'm not just saying with respect to love, oh. with respect to anything, not just love. Some of you are shouting amen just because you think I'm still talking about love. I finished the issue of love. Anybody in your life who is deceiving you and wants to be a Judas, I don't know why I'm praying this prayer. I say it again this week. May the God of my covenant expose them. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank him for the models that we have in the body of Christ. Thank him for those of us who he has granted grace to be able to be models to a generation. Followers of them. We are enjoying the advantage of following Jesus. But the advantage of following models, patterns, and references. To Jesus be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man. And behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went, but the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, my father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you listen and Probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message. It means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So, I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around. 